Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real House Sickles Aquatic Kennels. Whew, man, I had a long day. And it's a pretty rough day. As you can see right before you, my big boy, Big Zeus, I love him to death. He is definitely one of my all-time favorite cichlids that I have ever raised. And... It's pretty hard, it's pretty difficult to sit here and watch him pretty much struggle right now to survive. He hasn't eaten in like two days. He's just been laying on the bottom of the tank or sometimes go over in the corner behind the flower pot and just lay upside down. So I know he doesn't have much longer. So what I decided to do today, September 27, 2013, is to go out and try to find a location because you notice, as I mentioned in my previous video with Big Zeus in it, that I believe that this is the largest umby that was ever raised in an aquarium under 150 gallons. That was my point. I think some of the people missed my point. I didn't say a thousand gallons. I said uh, under 150 gallons, this is the largest umby I've ever seen. And so, and moving forward, I'm going to have him weighed, and I'm going to measure him, and I'm going to have eyewitnesses. So I went out and searched today. I went to the Humane Society. I went to a veterinarian office. I went to a taxidermist office to find some people who would want to participate in this historic event in our sickly community. And yes, people, I found the right veterinarian office. These people, the manager has agreed to be witnesses and eyewitness and validate my claim as far as the weight and length and size of Big Zeus. So I got that out of the way. We have a location. In fact, I'm going to allow you guys to join me in my journey and trying to find a location to validate Big Zeus's size coming up shortly. Now, I know there are a lot of naysayers and people on YouTube or online or in the cichlid community who would like to stay claim that they may have a large umby that's, that's bigger than Zeus. I only know of a few people who have an umby that I believe that is larger than Zeus. One of those people, a good friend of mine, my brother from another mother, Chris, AKA Umby King. And in fact, Chris and I not too long ago, I think maybe last week, we were just talking about umbies and he was sharing some stories what we call fish tales about some of the people he know that possess umbies that were much bigger than Big Zeus and I believe Chris trust me he has integrity he's a good guy and I know he knows his stuff especially when it comes down to umbies but when we was having our conversation I said well Chris you know what there are a lot of people out here who have fishtails as well. And they, you know, some of us refer to it as he say, she say. I refer to it as rhetoric. Because people add a lot of, they inject a lot of politics in this community and in this hobby, which is unnecessary. This is a hobby, people. This is not a place for drama and politics. This is a place for, this is a stress-free zone. People join cyclic communities and get involved in hobbies to relieve stress, not add stress. So all this competition, who got the biggest army and who this and that and other, that's, that's unnecessary. And that's very childish in my opinion. But moving on, we were talking about it and I said, well Chris, you know what? A lot of people have these, these stories about these fish, but they have no proof. They have no evidence of the fish or the stories being real. And so, I want to start a new trend in the cichlid community. 
I want to I want to open people's eyes and start dealing with documentation because documentation be conversation all day long. I want you to deal with the facts. See, when I talk to you guys and I tell you stuff, I'm giving you facts. When I tell you or I I express my opinion that Zeus is one of the largest umpies. I'm not just going to tell you that and hope that it sticks on the wall and you, you accept it. I'm going to show you by documenting it, putting it in the record books. So, let's call, matter of fact, I'm going to call in a new phrase right now for you two. You heard it here first. The Real Hard Six is a quad of candles. Big Skip, as usual, Pioneer. Show me the fish facts. Period. Show me the fish facts. Don't just make claims and state claims of other people's fish or your own fish and, and, and tell stories about this huge fish or what have you without any documentation or any fish facts to back it up. Because that's where all the confusion come in. That's where all the, the debating come in. When you don't have documentation, you can't debate the facts. So that's what I want to do, people. I want to inject in this community a new trend. Hopefully, after watching this video, which I'm sure you are, some people already started now, I'm sure, after watching the first video, that you guys will place your umbies in larger aquariums now so you can outdo skip, so you can have the biggest umbies. And that's a good thing because to tell the truth, I didn't do Zeus any good or any justice by raising them in this 130 gallon aquarium. This is a large open water cichlid predator. This is a predatory fish that likes the open water. They, they need room, they need space. And yes, I'm mad enough to admit that I was wrong. Some of us are always selfish when we raise these fish in these glass, glass cages and think that we're doing something good but really sometimes you're not but Zeus was pretty happy I can't I'm not gonna be too hard on myself Zeus was happy I had him for over eight years I had him been doing something right and he lived he he, he lived a good life I wish I could have placed him in a, a pond or a larger aquarium but I didn't want to risk at his age and his size the stress of moving him and he died prematurely. But that's another story. So hopefully after watching this video, you guys take note and you know, hey, you know what? If I'm going to keep a large predatory fish like an umber firm or a dovi, I'm going to have to get a large aquarium. Me personally, I say you shouldn't raise them in nothing under 300 gallons. In my opinion, these fish, from what I've learned so far, and from what I've learned from keeping Big Zeus, they need a lot of space. And you're not doing them any justice by raising them in any tank under 300 gallons. And that's real talk. So hopefully, this video spurs some new trends in this hobby, in this community. You guys want to start showing your fish facts. You guys are are going to start documenting your fish size and weight when they pass away. So now we have a video documentation of the progression of these sick these cichlids when they're growing in these aquariums. So if someone decided to do some research, they can go online and say, hey, I watched this video and this guy raised this fish and he got this big. So some people say, well, can an umbi outgrow a tank or can a dovi outgrow a certain size tank? They can watch these videos and they know. And that's all I want, people. That's all I want. All I want is to, to spur conversation and hope that some of you guys engage in conversation and dialect that's, that's going to have a positive impact in this community. So hopefully this start a new trend. Hopefully you guys use my new phrase that I coined, show me the fish facts, and you guys when your fish pass away, you document and put it in the record books how big your fish was. And so we can keep a we can we can keep a bar going. We can keep we can keep raising a bar. I'm about to I'm about to raise the bar.
soon. And hopefully someone else surpass that and raise the bar even higher. And that should lead to good fish keeping. So I'm going to stop babbling right now. And I'm going to allow you guys to go on the journey that I went on today and witness me trying to confirm a location to do the weigh-in and measurement of Big Zeus. Coming up right now. Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real House 6 Aquatic Kennels. Right now, I am at the Humane Society of Charles County, Maryland. And this is a possible location that I may bring Big Zeus, my large umber firm, to do a weigh-in and a measurement. I have a fishing scale right here before you goes up to 50 pounds it also has a measuring tape built inside but just in case I have my own measuring tape uh, we have the employees of the Humane Society on, on campus they're walking the dogs this skip I'm still at, on location at the Humane Society I'm just looking at the um, memory plots. My manager says that since we are not a vet office, we cannot, but you can certainly take it to one and have them. So you're saying I could take it to a vet office and they, they may verify or validate So the claim. my manager says yes. That's what he said. Oh, okay, but you guys can't. Because oh. I'm not a vet. Because so. you're not a vet. That's yeah. fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Okay, you heard him. He said that uh, they're unable to do this at the Humane Society because they're not a vet. But they're sure that I could take it to a vet office or maybe a, a taxidermist office and they can validate it, the size and weight. Or witness the validation of the size and weight. Okay, now we're at Southern Maryland Veterinarian. Referral Center to see whether or not I can have someone witness the weigh in and the measurement of Big Zeus. So I'll come in here and ask these guys whether or not they can be eyewitnesses. Let's skip. I am inside the veterinarian's office and I'm requesting that they ask the manager to see whether or not we can have someone be an eyewitness account of the size and weight of Big Zeus. So we'll wait and see. Is it for like insurance or something? Oh, it's no insurance. It's, it's just to have it documented? Just, just to have it documented. <laughs> yes, this is a, a large umber firm. It's a tropical fish. Uh -huh. They reside in um, Central, I mean South America, mm -hmm. and uh, he's he's a pretty big one. And I and I'm, I'm pretty sure that not too many people have ever raised him to that size, especially in the size aquarium that I had yeah. him in. So I would like to just document it. This this for documentation because uh -huh. you know a lot of. A lot of people have these fish tales or tales about <laughs> yeah. things that they've seen before, but they never have any evidence of uh -huh. it. And so I would like to have evidence of or, or some documentation of my fish actually being the size that it really is. Oh. And people who are eyewitnesses to it that are not my friends or relatives. Right. Just, you know, people who have no vested interest in, you know, <laughs> stating otherwise. Yeah. It's something other than. So that's why I said oh. I just... Just to bring it out here and document it so people can see. What do you think you're going to do at that point? Like once, once what's going to happen? I'm going to be sad because I love the fish. Uh -huh. And when he passed away, I had him for almost 10 years now. Yeah. And so it, it's going to be a sad moment for me. But I figured a way for me to uh, 
deal with that, it's at least mm -hmm. when he goes, I have something to show. Yeah. You know, because I, I had plenty of fish before that was just as big as he was yeah. and not larger, but I never did that. And so it's, it'll be something new for me. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just documenting it. Okay. But I'll see. Uh oh, you have guests. <laughs> How are you? Oh, look at this. Good. Pretty dog. Oh. So, you two, we'll see if we get an answer from the manager here. And this may be the location that I bring Zeus and do a weigh in and a measurement. So they say it's a go. Mm -hmm. They say they can do it, you two. So I have my place now where I'm gonna, where I am going to bring Big Zeus. My large jumble firm. And we're gonna do a measurement in the way and once he pass away. And I'm also looking into taking him up to the nearest uh, taxidermist office and see if I can have him cast it and I may mount him on the wall in the aquarium room so that's all folks skip I'm out <laughs>